we have fallen very short of it. And as it was a last-ditch effort by the great-grandson of Mahatma Gandhi. He tried to raise $300,000 to buy a rare collection of his great-grandfather's personal items up for auction. The items include Gandhi's distinctive wire rim glasses. I haven't succeeded. As I said, it was too late uh, uh, to go to the people and hope that common Indian people would be able to donate in such, uh, for such uh, a large amount of money as required. Uh, and so uh, we have fallen very short of it. Gandhi lived a life of poverty and had very few possessions. And his great-grandson thinks those belongings should be brought back to India and the people of India. Stopping the auction is one thing. But ensuring that what belongs to India comes back to India is a totally different ball game. And I hope the government of India understands this difference. What belongs to India, what belongs to the father of the nation, comes back to India. Los Angeles documentary producer James Otis is selling the items. He also wants to see the pieces wind up back in India. We have gone to the Indian government and made an offer to them uh, if they were to increase uh, their help of the poorest of Indians uh, and increase their GDP from 1% to 5%, I would gladly donate these items to them. Gandhi advocated nonviolent civil disobedience to resist British rule in India. He died in 1948 after being shot by a Hindu radical. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.